out to the bank, I'm like, ha ha, da da. What she saying? I heard blah blah. Wata, rocks, so she like I'm Tata, Papa. I'm a trapper here and welcome back to the channel on our last video we made our first attempt at uh, recording our 60 to 130 uh, started in third gear right around 2700 rpms uh, ended up spinning at, at the top of third gear uh, each attempt <laughs> Our best time ended up being a full eight, which isn't too shabby, considering that we started at a very high gear, uh, very low RPM, um, and spinning the top of third gear as well. So uh, since then, I got the car realigned. I actually dropped down tire size, stuck it down from a 325 down to a 275, and I also got rid of the front sway bar. All right, so right now, the car, it feels like a truck. I feel like I have lost like that sporty feeling uh, to the steering and the handling. And like I said, dropped down the tire size, uh, went down from a 325, uh, 50, 15, uh, to a 275, 60, 15. So a little bit taller tires, uh, sidewall wise, and a little bit skinnier. Um, made a couple of test hits on the street, uh, and it didn't do too shabby. It actually felt a lot better uh, at the colder temperatures during the nighttime uh, than it has during the daytime at uh, a little bit warmer temps. <laughs> to take it back out to uh, get another shot at uh, getting the uh, 6 to the 130 times and we ended up running into another issue with this pro charger system so this is an actual issue that I've had before in the past I ended up uh, replacing the bearing on the flip drive pulley uh, it took a shit on me again and I ended up just swapping out the whole pulley uh, ordered a new one threw that in and it lasted longer than the uh, than my first set did but that also just took a shit and what happens is uh, once those bearings wear out the uh, flip drive pulley uh, aka secondary drive pulley uh, starts to wobble and because that pulley drives the alternator and the power stern once that pulley goes out of alignment from the wobbling it just shreds the belt right out I never got a chance to get another uh, attempt at the 60 to 130 but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about this is a flip drive pulley aka secondary drive uh, it is driven by the crank at this back ribs and then this front ribs then drives the uh, power stern and the alternator so the first time I ran into this issue was I think right around September time frame uh, the bearings uh, wore out on it uh, from the side load and ended up taking a shit and also started scraping against the uh, front uh, face of the bracket all right. Problem is, when this happens, you really can't hear it uh, until it's too late. Until you start shredding belts. All right. So uh, I was able to take it apart, measure the uh, bore on it, and I got some uh, bearings 
uh, for it and they uh, held up uh, for not too long actually it was maybe 500 miles and it took a shit again so I figured it was toast and I ended up uh, ordering a new one from Pro Charger. I forgot how much it was I think it was right around maybe like 200 bucks or so alright so I installed this one and it lasted for about 1500 miles and uh, it just took a shit on it so uh, brought it home and I was hoping to uh, throw in those spare bearings I had uh, at least that would get us back on the road for you know just a little bit until I can figure out my next move but then I realized that a uh, pro charger actually tried to beef it up um, so it uses a larger bore so the uh, original spares I had does not fit which is fine so at least it looks like Pro Charger tried to rectify this issue, but I don't know. Still isn't working. So I looked up uh, A and A to see what they were doing for their system, and they have the uh, the uh, pretty much the same design for theirs, but theirs uses uh, a three bearing. Um, uses three bearings uh, in the bore. The Pro Chargers uses only two, and amongst other stuff that they uh, that they've uh, realized uh, over the years, and allows them to uh, have uh, more longevity out of their uh, system. So I mean, it's just dealing with this issues left and right. Uh, snapping the supercharger belt, snapping the fucking alternator belt. I mean, I'm just I'm just tired of it. I'm 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 really just like getting getting tired of everything, getting tired of the car, but still not giving up. So uh, I think for me. This is going to be the turning point. Um, I know I've been uh, highly considering um, uh, swapping out the Pro Charger bracket for the ANA bracket. Um, so at this point, I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just do everything. So rather than doing just the uh, bracket for the supercharger, uh, I'm, I'm going to swap out the balancer as well. Swap out the uh, tensioner uh, for the power steering alternator and also swap out the bracket for uh, the uh, flip drive system. So uh, pretty much I'm, I'm going to retain the head unit for now. But uh, the rest of everything uh, is going to be A and A. Hopefully, we have better luck with that and get some more reliability out of this setup because it's just it's just always something. It's always something. All right. Um, and then for the drag wing, uh, ended up having one of my homies, uh, Owen, uh, come through and wrap it for me, and it's definitely coming together. Uh, I did order some struts, uh, and it's taking a little bit of time to get here. But once it does, it'll definitely uh, complete the look. I got this side over here kind of sagging, but the strut's gonna fix that, so I'm not, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, yeah, for for custom uh, self fab here in the garage, uh, definitely didn't didn't come out too bad. Too bad, I actually liked it. I actually like it. Um, saved saved me some money there that I could put, you know, towards other things that I need. Um, what else? What else? Uh, replace the front runner uh, as well. The O set. We're kind of getting too too worn out. And then you know, like we said, uh, not running a a T seventy five tire. I'm zooming on that. 275 60 15 and actually felt great during the test hit oh and i also forgot one more thing so we ended up swapping out uh the rear uh leaf spring and shocks uh, i ended up throwing my brother's base leaf spring and his base shocks on here just to get a little bit more suspension travel all right so with the combination of all that the uh, base leaf spring base shocks uh front sway bar removal uh dropping down to a t75 a little bit taller tire uh it seems like i'm moving towards the right direction traction has definitely gotten uh, a little better with this car we'll keep playing with it um hopefully uh, someday we'll be able to hook second gear uh maybe that a viking setup is what's gonna get us there we'll see all right and then on the flip uh, my brother's fenders uh, just came back from the paint shop. He didn't bother uh, color matching it with the rest of the car. He plans to wrap it anyway. Uh, I think he plans to wrap the whole car as well later down the line. So he's going to be doing the exact same carbon fiber wrap that I have on the wing um, for his fenders. Um, and they're looking, looking pretty good. Look, looking pretty good. I think the other set is in the house. All right, and he picked up some, I believe those are OEM C7 01 wheels. And uh, he wrapped them in some, uh, are those r triple eights? I can't tell, Toyos? Toyo something, but yeah, uh, they're, they're a lot wider than, than what he has, well, what he had in the car. And I know, I know it's gonna come together real nicely. And the crazy thing is they actually match uh, the same design from what they already had on the car. But I think these were replicas though. I mean, it doesn't matter. I guess wheels are wheels. But yeah, definitely come together. All right, and I found me a buyer for one of the uh, motors I had spare sitting in the crate. Uh, buyer should be coming tomorrow. So uh, let's have a long block 
find a buyer, so I'm gonna be pushing that out. Uh, throwing the uh, valley cover on, front front timing chain. I might give him one of the ATI dampeners I have, uh, along with a factory uh, LS7 intake. We'll see, we'll see if I'm feeling generous. I'll see what the vibe is like when he gets here. So the car's gonna be down for a little bit um, as we continue to uh, figure out the next move. I already spoke to uh, ANA yesterday. Uh, they want me to give him a car back tomorrow uh, to see if they have any of those um, kits uh, for the uh, brackets. They have any available and ready to ship because uh, I don't want this car down for a long time. Definitely not. Definitely not. I'm trying to enjoy the little bit of time I have left here in Florida. You know, having these issues right now made me realize that uh, this older guy that I met at the uh, at a car meet like mid last year, he was right. Uh, he uh, he told me try to keep it under 900 because uh, after a thousand it just gets real, real ghetto. And um, I was like, nah, I want auto smoke. And now I'm getting all the smoke. Uh, fucking cars like, I'll give you 1200 but uh, I'm not gonna hook. I'm gonna break belts, I'm gonna break transmissions, all right? And you're not gonna be happy, so. <laughs> but you know, there there's several phases to uh, building a car, right? So first you have that first phase where it's like, you know, you have all these plans, uh, you know, you're excited. And then the second phase is this just sucks phase where, you know, you do all the things that you wanna do and it's like, it's not running right, it's not acting right, uh, which is the uh, suck phase. And then you get to the next phase where you have everything figured out, you know, you can beat on it and the car's somewhat reliable, so. I think I'm slowly entering into that next phase and hopefully ANA uh, is gonna be the key to that. If not, I'm gonna say fuck everything, fuck the belt, fuck the brackets, and just give me a single turbo. All right, so uh, we're not done here yet. We're not giving up. Uh, I'm gonna keep pushing forward and keep doing what I do. Appreciate y'all for checking in this week. All right, we almost had 6K subscribers and that would not been possible without each and every single one of y'all. All right, for that, I thank you. Keep liking the videos, keep sharing, keep engaging with me in the comment section. I reply back to literally every comment, all right? Thank you for the love, thank you for the support, and I'll be seeing y'all on the next video.